book name count your chickens one day meena and mitu were returning home after collecting firewood they had to pass the village school on the way raju went to this school Meena and Mitu decided to stop at the school and see what was happening. They found that the teacher was telling the children a wonderful story. Meena and Mitu liked the story so much that they listened till the very end. Meena wished so much that she could go to school too. Walking back home, Meena pretended that she was a teacher and that Mitu was her student. She taught the parrot to say his name. When Meena got home, Raju was proudly telling their father about all the things he learned at school. Meena looked at her father. "Oh, please, Why can't I go to school too? she asked. You are needed at home to help mother, said her father. Girls only need to cook, clean and look after the house, added her mother. You don't need to go to school for that. Poor Mina. That night she stood sadly at the window. The school building was shining in the moonlight. How she wished she could study. When she finally fell asleep, Mina had a strange dream. She was in class with many other girls and boys and Mitu was the teacher. The next morning, Mina watched sadly as Raju and his friends went to school. She remembered her dream and sat down to think. Somehow she must make it come true. But how? Then Mina had a wonderful idea. She would send Mitu to school and he would come back and teach her everything he learned there. Mitu sat all morning at the window of the classroom. He listened carefully as the teacher taught the two times table. And then he flew back home and taught Mina. Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. Soon Mina was counting six of everything she saw. She kept counting her father's six chickens. Mina was finally learning arithmetic just like Raju. That afternoon, when Mina and Mitu were busy, a thief came creeping up the wall. He stole one of the chickens and ran off. Six grains, counted Mina, and six chickens. She turned to count them once more but there was one missing. Mina was puzzled. She looked all around and that's when she saw the thief running away. "Thief! Thief!" shouted Mina as she and Mitu ran after him. Soon half the village had joined in the chase. Thief! Thief! Squawked Mitu into the thief's ear. The man was so scared that he fell backward into the paddy field. And there he stayed until the villagers came running up. The village headman was very proud of Mina. He asked her how she had noticed the thief and Mina explained that she had counted the chickens and found one missing.
The headman then congratulated Mina's parents for sending such a clever girl to school. When Mina's parents said that Mina did not go to school, the villagers were amazed. Every child should go to school, said the headman. Yes, said a neighbor. My married daughter lives far away, but she can write me letters because I sent her to school. My educated daughter runs her own poultry business, said an old woman proudly. I went to school and can look after my baby better, added a shy young mother. Mina's parents made a big decision. They decided that Mina would start school the very next day. Mina and Raju were overjoyed. They danced with happiness. Everyone was still puzzled about one thing. Who had taught Mina to count? A friend, said Mina and giggled as Mitu announced proudly, My name is Mitu. The next day was Mina's first day at school. She was so happy. She had caught a chicken thief and made her dream come true. Mina and Mitu say, Every child must go to school. <laughs>